What do you do when things don't turn out as planned? Hi, I'm Bernie Smith, your missionary to West Africa Advanced School of Theology in Lome, Togo. In Luke 24, we have the story of two disciples. They had left Jerusalem going to another village. They knew their master had been crucified. They'd heard about the empty tomb, but it wasn't enough to keep them in Jerusalem, and they left. I can only imagine what they were thinking about. They had followed this man for about three years. They had given everything, believing that he was the Messiah. And yet he was crucified. He was tortured to death. He was arrested by the Romans. He was rejected by the Jews. And now these two disciples didn't know what was going to happen with the rest of their life. They'd be the laughing stock for the rest of their lives of those who followed a false prophet. Would their families even accept them? And then along came a man who asked them what was going on, and he began to explain the scriptures to them. But the Bible says they didn't see it was Jesus because he was hidden from their eyes. Sometimes I wonder if maybe he was hidden from their eyes because they were only looking down in their discouragement. But as he told them about the scriptures, he told them how Christ would come and be crucified and rise again on the third day. He told them the truths of the gospel. And when they stopped for supper, as this stranger began to break bread, all at once they realized, this is Jesus we've been talking to all along. Now, oddly enough, Jesus disappeared right at that moment. But that was enough for them because they had seen the Lord and their life was changed from that point on. They left the place where they were and hurried back to Jerusalem to tell everyone what they had seen and experienced. So what do you do when things don't turn out as planned? We should listen to the word of God and we should allow ourselves to see Jesus because God always has a plan.